I am Sid Sharma. I'm a business process consultant from Tech Mahindra and a part of this catalyst, smart business process enabling digital enterprise transformation. So as we have seen, digital enterprises are moving to a new level where the traditional BPM is definitely a misfit. With the low IQ, uh, we are not able to meet up the challenges thrown by the digital economy. So there is a sharp need to raise the IQ of the business processes and to come up with the smart business process management. So when we say smart BPM, what are the features we need in our business processes so that we can align with the advancement happening in the technology, in the network. So we need to have the similar uh, advancement in a business process side so we can have end-to-end -end automation and we can leverage all the technological advancement as well. And when I say that, our focus is to reduce the cycle time and uh, we need to work on enhancing customer experience. So let's have a quick view of what are the features we have proposed for Smart BPM automated business process discovery. So this is the first feature which talks about the approach of discovering the processes. So the traditional way of doing is, is very manual and which is filled of challenges. Uh, the way we do it right now is a consultant goes uh, do a lot of manual research about system and processes and then come out with the uh, a study of a huge you know end-to-end -end process which takes around uh, six weeks or more at least and uh, the output what we get is very inaccurate inefficient because of various factors because every people have a different different perspective of what telling you you know uh, about uh, process so we have found a very uh, cutting edge solution for that and what we are doing is rather than doing it a top-down approach we would be following a bottom-up approach and that is a automated so what we are doing is we would be taking a system logs and then uh, from the system logs we would be doing a, a process mining on that and we would be coming up out of a process map so process map is actually a many to many relationship of entities you can see your uh, technical inventory commercial inventories you can see your you know uh, complete picture of your process map which further uh, is refined by bpm and engine and you can see the whole end-to-end uh, -end processes in bpm and format and the advantage of that is definitely you're reducing your cycle time uh, you're doing in a just a click of button and the thing is the accuracy level what you are getting is was never before and uh, one more thing is like on top of the discovered as is process because what you have discovered is your present mode of operation so by discovering that you can work on your future mode of operation that is your 2b processes and uh, if your as is process are accurate definitely you will save a lot of your uh, uh, investment on bringing up your 2B processes and I would like to show you in the future slides so this is like automated business process validation so once you discover the processes you need to validate them of course you know because there can be some variation so we can uh, we utilize uh, uh, various simulation features in uh, uh, validating our process and when we discover the process the tool also provide us capability to find the loopholes so you can do the root cause analysis you can find the uh, people process or technology issue and you can just focus on where is the something is going wrong and you can hit and uh, you're spot on next feature of smart BPM is automated business process framework mapping and this is very relevant to the a TM forum because uh, how when we discovered the business process automatically we need to map with the some framework standards so here we how we are you know mapping the discovered process with the ETOM standards and that's why uh, we will save a lot of time when the complexity in your organization increases and uh, you lose you know track of what you are doing this is the next feature of smart BPM automated uh, business process guidance and I would say this is a very you know cutting edge uh, solution by utilizing smart BPM what we are doing is we are reducing a lot of manual efforts in documentation so how are we doing it is the tool will enable us to utilize animation and videos to socialize with our operation team so basically your IT team your product team your 
uh, QA team is directly in sync with your operations team and it's like uh, you are working in a DevOps synergy model. So it's a big thing, it's a big, hu huge invest, a huge saving in terms of time and uh, saving of your money. Then I would like to uh, focus on few uh, very cutting edge features which are our uh, plan for you know continuing in the next catalyst. So the whole concept of concept of merging analytics with the BPM it is very relevant in the age of digital enterprises where all social is integrated and your uh, enterprises need a agility so that they can you know uh, they can come up with the demands of uh, the market so automated business process predictive probabilistic and prescriptive analysis will provide real time analysis and uh, you can have a predictive analytics merge with your BPM which will help you to uh, maintain your business processes uh, with the help of uh, machine learning and uh, some algorithms which can help you to provide you know predictions. At the end I would like to highlight on the automated continuous process improvement which is again based on the same concept of uh, uh, cognitive learning and machine learning. Your system should not be just automated and that's a very important thing when I say it's not just automated we are talking about the autonomous systems. So system has capability to correct themselves and so this is a process improvement which is now automated we are talking about. So system has a self correction feature and this is very much relevant in terms of uh, all M2M and IoT uh, projects and the features where we need a continuous you know agility and change in the business scenarios. So now I would like to invite uh, my colleague Ron to give some demo and introduce some features of Smart BPM and you can see live on the tool how they work. So Sid has given you a bit of a background on where we are with the Smart BPM concept. I just wanted to tell you there's a lot of areas of magic layered into the technology here. The first layer of magic comes from our colleagues at AT&T. Dave Hutchins uh, probably is one of the most versatile, experienced people in doing process mining. So he goes into his systems and automatically lifts out the as-is process model uh, using some magic and doing in a couple of minutes or hours what used to take us months and months to do with teams of subject matter experts. And then from that model, he can take a look and analyze automatically areas of opportunity. At that point, he takes the model and passes over the model to us, and we put it into a standard business process modeling and notation BPMN format and from that format we can do many many different things it's a multi-use format in this case here you can see the TM forum business process frameworks best practices model and you can see wherever it's highlighted in blue and it's highlighted over here there's a direct relationship between the tasks that were captured from process mining and the catalyst and the uh, and the frameworks from here we can actually do process simulation, we can do high level simulation, we can do very detailed simulation, we can do animation, we can step through the process model and attach uh, uh, artifacts uh, to each uh, activity. And as you go through the activities, you can play videos, you can play uh, slideshows, you can uh, uh, launch documentation, and from that you can actually use your process model for doing training of new associates. You can do uh, uh, middle of the night uh, root cause analysis for uh, problems with uh, uh, applications. You can uh, show your customers how this thing is going to operate and you can even show your management team how this project is progressing. So there's a lot of things you can do from that. You can take then what you've mined, your as is uh, process, and you can move it automatically into a design palette in a non-technical, non-confrontational approach to allow your subject matter experts to work with your design team to actually layer in the process improvements, perhaps in the areas that were discovered in the process mining uh, uh, endeavor. From that point, uh, you can uh, attach the who, what, where's, why's, and when's. You can uh, link uh, activities to resources to goals to systems all of the information that you capture anywhere 
in this environment automatically gets linked together in a digital enterprise graph in the background. Same technology that Facebook and Google and Microsoft business uses. By virtue of that, without any extra endeavors you, or effort, you can uh, go in and take a look at your entire organization. You can take a look at specific applications. You can take a look at links. You can take a look at impact analysis. If I change something over here, what are the unexpected consequences of that somewhere else? And all sorts of good things like that. So if you take the concept of smart the BPM that uh, Sid presented and take a look at what we've been able to accomplish at this point, all production ready, all uh, uh, available for use today, and uh, it's just the precursor to the next phase.